guys. What's going on? Ricky Bobby. And it's Palm Sunday. Except today, it's not a palm, but it is a plant in the tropical part of the channel. And this is kind of cool. So I did a, a very small video on red mangroves um, a month or so ago. So I kind of wanted to show you the update and what I'm kind of doing going further. Okay, so here's a couple of them that I have. This is not all of them. And first thing, if you haven't seen the other video, these are called mangrove propagules. So a propagule is this. And basically what happens is on the mangrove, it actually grows coming out of like the flower. And um, it is the mangrove species is one of the only plants, I believe in the world, that gives birth, they say, to live young. Meaning this isn't a seed, this is actually a live plant. And they kind of have like a timer. And the timer kind of goes like this. This thing grows on the plant, the plant releases it, falls into the ocean, or brackish water or wherever it is, usually on a tidal coastal area in the subtropics to the tropics, right? And then it'll kind of wash onto the beach or get caught around other mangroves. And as it does, it slowly, see if I can focus in here, these little bumps in the bottom. Hold on. See those little bumps right there in the bottom? It's hard to tell, but they're very small. That is the start of this thing to grow roots. So what they'll do, now this is, this, these, are, these are all from the same batch. Just shows you, but this one's bigger, maybe a little bit more mature. And this is what happens. You get these beautiful stilt roots that are gonna grow out. And this only took, like, I don't know, two weeks. So, I mean, they're relatively slow. So what happens is they root in the ground somewhere that is usually aquatic. And then once they take root, the tree, the plant will grow from the top up till they get leaves. And eventually the stilt roots of this that grab into the dirt or the soil or the beach or wherever it's going to be helps to stop uh, tidal corrosion, storms and waves and tides. So they have a very good uh, way to help um, shore erosion. Also, they also create many areas um, for fish to breed and hide and all kinds of other wicked things that happen in nature. So. These are red mangroves, and these are the ones that you kind of want to have for an aquarium. Um, the black one, the black mangroves are a lot smaller, propagule. But anyway, so I'm going to just kind of show you what I've been doing with these guys and what, how I kind of my take on what I wanted to do over other people on YouTube that I've watched. So we come over here to the, the water box, and hopefully you can see this. So back here is the back chamber of the tank, and that chamber relatively stays the same height because the auto top off and everything else works hard to make sure that that level stays the same. So anyway, I took some styrofoam and I just drilled some holes in it. And then I take the mangroves and I just kind of slightly wedge them in there. Now this isn't forever. This is just for them to float. And then as the water level does change, they go up and down with the water level and they are getting nitrates and phosphates and trace elements from the tank. Also there's water movement in there because that is where the return pump is. So I'll kind of show you this is the other piece for these guys. Just a piece of scrap I had in the basement. Nothing fancy right now because they are eventually, when they grow bigger, are going to go to a new tank that's going to be over here and some are going to go into the big tank over there. So they are going to be kind of part of the whole thing. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to escape it at this moment, but uh, I'm just happy these things are growing and doing well. So in nature, these guys, if they are in a salt or brackish water environment, they will expel salt through their leaves. Um, however, when it rains, the rain washes off that salt and it helps the plant perspire and, and, and secrete salts. So in, in an indoor environment, once it starts to grow leaves, we will spray RDI water on the plants and keep them uh, rinsed off to simulate natural rain. So we'll do another video. Uh, it's probably not going to be for a while because these things are very slow, very slow. So. Millions of these things fall into the water and millions of them do not necessarily make it to able to root into the ground and form another tree. So, uh, yeah, so that is the red mangrove propagule. 
and eventually we are going to have hopefully seven mangrove trees some for this tank and some for the other tank so that's just kind of our palm sunday version today of aquatic plants and yes they need to be moist that's what they like you'll never usually see mangroves i don't think growing on like just bare dirt in the middle of a field usually has to have some kind of aquatic nature i believe you're gonna have to look up that fact but i didn't go crazy googling all the information but i do know some about it so it's kind of kind of uh, unique and <coughs> excuse me you can see in a tank like this it doesn't take long for it to bust the surface so obviously there's no lighting on this tank for these plants uh this tank is going to be gone soon and then we're gonna have a new tank proper lighting uh and if you guys are aware or wondering um these AI Primes, these are 16 HDs. Their spectrum is enough to grow the mangrove without having to use a refugium light. They will be fine. So, and eventually we're gonna figure a way how to get them closer to the light. That's another story. But first we need to get these things growing big enough so they have leaves. So anyway, guys, the red mangrove, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Palm Sunday, where we kind of mix plants and the fish tanks together. Have a good one.